हो गया हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फाइस आई एंड यू नो वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट एल एस एंड जे जी कॉपलिंग एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर थ्री इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट द लैंड इंटरवल रूल एंड नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी विल फाइंड द स्पेक्टर टर्म्स फॉर एल एस कपलिंग ओके एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो Uh, we will uh, find the spectral terms for the atoms which have one optical electron okay so atoms with one optical electron okay uh, when we uh, uh, when we say that uh, atom with one optical electron uh, you know uh, Uh, the uh, we uh, always think about uh, you know hydrogen atom okay so for a uh, let us take a take h atom in its ground state okay uh, now uh, first of all uh, we'll find uh, the uh, the spectral term for the ground state and then we'll uh, study about uh, Uh, the spectral term of the excited state okay so the ground state configuration the ground state uh, configuration the electronic configuration of uh, uh, the of uh, the hydrogen atom in its ground state it is given by 1s1 okay this is small s okay 1s1 okay let us uh, write the various quantum numbers For this state, the first quantum number, the principal quantum number, it is equal to one. Okay. <coughs> Now the second quantum number, it is the azimuthal quantum number, and the value of azimuthal quantum number is zero, because if n is equal to one, l should be zero. And then the spin quantum number, the spin quantum number. it is equal to 1 by 2 because you just have one single electron now to apply uh, the ls uh, coupling first of all we have to find the total s value that is the capital s and the total l value that is equal to capital l okay and remember this capital l is not the small l and uh, this uh, capital s is not equal to s but in this particular case since we just have one single electron the s is actually equal to small s okay and it will be equal to 1 by 2 and for l it is equal to small l it is equal to 0 this is just because we just have one single electron and we have nothing to add it add or subtract from these values of s and l now first thing which is called multiplicity multiplicity means how many levels we can have okay with this particular arrangement and the multiplicity is always equal to 2s plus 1 for this case s is equal to 1 by 2 so it becomes 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 and that will be equal to 2 so the multiplicity of uh, mm -hmm. this uh, is s okay now <coughs> and also this is a, a s state it is an s state it is a s state okay capital s remember okay why i write it as s state because if capital l is zero the state is s state if the capital this l values if the capital l is 1 it is p state if the capital l is 2 it is d state if the capital l is 3 it is f state okay it is f state okay now we have to find the the uh, total the j values okay the j's values goes from l minus capital s to 
L plus capital S. Okay. Now, uh, the L values are 0 and the S value is 1 by 2. So, we'll just have only one values of one value of j that is j is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Now, remember, I have already mentioned it, but uh, let us uh, see it one more time that if L is greater than S, if L is greater than S, the number of J values, the number of J values are 2S plus 1. Okay. And if S is greater than L, then the number of J values are 2L plus 1. Now you can see that in this particular case the S values the S value is greater than the L value. So the number of J values will be equal to 2 into 0 plus 1 and that is equal to 1. Okay and you can also see that there is only one value of J. So it has been proved that uh, if uh, s is greater than l then the number of j values will be equal to 2l plus 1 okay therefore the ground state term or the uh, spectral term for the ground state <coughs> of a hydrogen like atom is uh, how we how we can write it we write it as 2 s 1 by 2 okay now this 2 is the multiplicity and uh, this uh, says about uh, the value of capital L and this is this 1 by 2 is j. So j, this is L and this is capital, or oh, this, sorry, this is multiplicity. So when we write a spectral term, it contains all the information about the state of an atom in that particular, uh, uh, you know, that particular level or that, uh, uh, how it behave, how, how the, uh, the state of a particular atom. Okay. Now, this is uh, for an hydrogen like atom which is in the ground state it means this is it is also applicable it is also applicable to the atoms like uh, uh, you know uh, lithium for example we have lithium okay now lithium in case of lithium the electronic configuration is 1s2 and then 2s1 okay uh, in uh, you know uh, when we apply uh, LS coupling uh, uh, you uh, always remember that only the optical electrons uh, contributes uh, to the uh, coupling and okay and not the bound electron so it is also a case of the, uh, it is also a case of one electron atom okay hydrogen like uh, one electron atom uh, now in this uh, case uh, you can see that it is a 2s term okay and uh, in a hydrogen atom it is 1s1 so we have a single electron in this so the ground state configuration for lithium will also be 2s and 1 by 2 because we just have to consider the optical electrons okay okay so this is this term uh, so uh, this uh, particular term is true for you know every atom whose optical electron are in this state 2s or 3s or 4s and so on okay okay now uh, this is uh, this was all about uh, uh, an atom which has optical electron but it is in a in the ground state suppose suppose now 
that the atom is in the excited state okay any of the atoms uh, in any of uh, the hydrogen uh, like atom uh, in uh, example the hydrogen like for example all the alkali metals okay uh, for example lithium and uh, you know sodium okay now suppose <coughs> atom is in the excited state it is in the excited state which excited state let us say it is in the state p so for 2p or 3p or 4p whatever state uh, 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 in which uh, the electron lie uh, it doesn't matter if we have a p state and it is an excited state for uh, the, for a hydrogen like atom uh, we have to find uh, the structure term okay for this now for this case again uh, we'll uh, uh, write it in the, with the same procedure first of all okay and can be anything you know two three four or whatever uh, what about l the azimuthal quantum of for the p state it is equal to one okay it is equal to one <coughs> so if l is equal to one and then for s it is equal to one by two okay this is the azimuthal quantum number this is the this is the spin quantum number okay now to find the capital s okay it is very easy because because in this particular case we just have one electron it is in this ex, it is in the excited state but it is just one so s will be equal to small s and it will be equal to 1 by 2 okay the multiplicity uh, will again be 2 okay. okay and capital L is equal to small l and it is equal to 1 okay now the j values now the j values uh, will go from l minus s to l plus s so the j values will be 1 minus 1 by 2 to 1 plus 1 by 2 okay so 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 and 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 so we have two values of j and remember from this rule what this rule say if l is greater than s the number of j values will be equal to 2s plus 1 okay now in this case l is greater than s so the number of j values the number of j values are what uh, it will be equal to 2s plus 1 and s is 1 by 2 or 2s plus 1 it is equal to 2 and you can see we have two values okay <coughs> okay therefore uh, uh, the the terms for uh, for uh, p state for one electron atom in p state will be given by first of all all right 2 which is the multiplicity and then the capital p and then the j values 1 by 2 this is the first term and the because you know we have two j values okay two with j values okay and then the second 2 and then p and then 3 by 2 okay these are the state for one electron atom which are in excited state and that state is p state okay now we also put a uh, you know subscript uh, this not over here sometimes it is not mandatory but uh, sometimes we put this uh, subscript or <coughs> subscript now when let us see when we apply the subscript or not okay <coughs> if uh, the given configuration is odd what does it mean if the sum of all the l's is odd then we put the subscript over the 
uh, you know p or s or whatever okay but if the given given configuration is even it means that summation of allies is you know even but we can also say of even parity so of even parity okay uh, parity is uh, something i uh, we will understand it uh, in uh, some other uh, other like lecture so <coughs> uh, okay or uh, parity uh, we can write actually parity parity is uh, given by minus 1 raised to power l now you see that if l is a is an odd number then the parity becomes you know negative uh, we say it is odd and if uh, you know uh, it is uh, l is even then uh, this becomes parity becomes uh, positive and we say that it is of even parity so uh, in this particular case you we can see that the to there is only one electron okay and the total sum l is equal to 1 so if i put this l over here the parity will be odd so that is why i have uh, you know put this uh, subscript okay followed by this l symbol uh, whether it is p or uh, something else okay uh, okay uh, students okay guys okay friends uh, so uh, in this uh, particular video we have learned about uh, you know this factor terms for ls coupling for an atom with a one ele optical electron uh, okay uh, now uh, here we uh, applied on uh, its ground state and then this uh, you know excited state p state we can also find it uh, when we the atom is in you know uh, higher excited uh, states uh, like uh, suppose the atom is in is in uh, d state it is also an excited state so uh, you can uh, proceed uh, as we have uh, done in the p state and we can find uh, the all the values uh, uh, you can try it yourself okay or uh, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you should try it okay yourself uh, it is very easy follow the same procedure and uh, go on and uh, you will have the answer okay uh, so uh, uh, see you in the uh, next lecture uh, in this, uh, uh, in uh, in that particular lecture, we will uh, study about uh, the uh, spectral, uh, how to find the spectral terms for atoms which have two or more, you know, equivalent electrons and non-equivalent electrons. First of all, we'll we will learn about non-equivalent optical electrons. Okay, two electrons or more than two electrons, and then we will move on to equivalent optical electrons. Okay, uh, so till then, goodbye. Uh, see you in the lecture.